as Lebanese troops attack militants positioned inside a Palestinian refugee camp. Despite the destruction, the militant forces vow they will not surrender. Back here at home, the loonie is making a big splash, reaching a 30-year high this week. And while some experts predict a surging Canadian dollar could take flight and catch the greenback by the end of the year, the loonie's takeoff could mean trouble for some. Here to make sense of a strong Canadian dollar is Art Durnev. He's an assistant professor of finance at McGill University, and he joins me from Montreal. Good morning, Professor. Good morning, Mariel. Uh, first of all, you know, this week, the 30-year record for the Canadian dollar, what was mostly behind the increase in the loonie this week? Well, there are different reasons. First of all, it reflects the underlying strength of the Canadian economy. Uh, because we had an uh, economic report release where the expectations for the growth of the Cam Canadian economy was higher than expected. This is one of the reasons. Mm. The second reason is that investors expect that the Bank of Canada would push up the interest rates and they would increase the interest rates to fight inflation, to put a lead on inflation. So there are some expectations about the interest rates. This is the second reason. And probably the third reason, more kind of like speculative reason, is that there was this avalanche of mergers and acquisitions deal by foreign companies trying to buy Canadian companies. For example, if you've heard the news, uh, lots of oil pumped money is flowing from Russia trying mm -hmm. to acquire Canadian businesses. So this is the, just the combination of factors that uh, pushes up the value of the loony, not only against the American dollar, but also against other currencies like 10-year historical high against the Japanese yen. Wow, so it has been outperforming other currencies as well. Uh, tell me what you think about these um, forecasts for the Canadian dollar to hit par with the, with the U.S. dollar. So that would mean the, the Canadian dollar would be worth one dollar, and so would the U.S. How likely do you think that, that's going to happen? That can hap That can very well happen, but that would not be surprising at all. Mm. Because historically, the Canadian dollar has already been stronger than the U.S. dollar three times during the history. The record high was in 1957 when it was traded at, at six cents higher than American dollar. Well, I'm trying to ignore 1861 uh, when it was almost three dollars per American <laughs> dollar. Okay, yeah, let's talk in recent memory then. So it has happened in the past, but let's talk it about... It has happened. Okay, so just given the state of the economy today, what would happen, what would be the biggest impact in your mind if we were to see the Canadian dollar increase so much that it would be at par with the, with the greenback? Well, it might have, it, it will definitely have some crippling uh, impact on private businesses, on manufacturers. It will make Canadian export uh, more, more expensive. So it might have, it, it would be bad news for the local businesses. It would be bad news for the manufacturers. It would be bad news for tourist attractions. But, you know, it's, it's kind of like a natural process. And given that the Bank of Canada doesn't have any really plans to interfere the foreign currency exchange markets, the value of the dollar is where it's supposed to be defined by uh, the market forces. So what the Canadian industries and uh, tourism industry need to concentrate is, is to providing the friendly service, still providing the type of service, for example, where American tourists cannot find anywhere. So as an example would be that Niagara Falls is still going to be prettier on the Canadian side. Mm. Okay, so they should focus on sort of what, what it is they have to offer. That's for tourism, but what about the manufacturing industry, Professor? Because, you know, the Canadian dollar has been gaining steam over the past few years. Has there not been enough time for industry and manufacturers to try and adjust to this new environment of a stronger sure. currency here? Yeah, of course. You, you see, because the, the loony has been getting stronger since 2002, mm -hmm. right? So there's been plenty of time to adjust for that. So when you talk about the par value with the U.S. dollar, it's more like a psychological threshold, one for one. So they had time. Well, definitely it will negatively, adversely affect, for example, the pharmaceuticals industry or the software industry. But on the other hand, you need to think about this, that on the other hand, it's a great opportunity to attract skills labor from other countries. For example, to attract Canadians, uh, educated Canadians who went to the United States. Now it's a great opportunity to buy them back because the salary in equivalent of the U.S. dollars is going to be more attractive. Well, that was the reason with me. I moved from the United States mm -hmm. and I've always been trying to translate my Canadian salary to U.S. dollars and now the numbers are much more attractive than 
what they were a couple of years ago. So it's a great opportunity to attract skilled labor from the United States. All right. Well, Professor Durna, I very much appreciate you giving us some perspective on this. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. Well, it sounds like a script from a Hollywood movie, an international crime ring with operations on three continents, complex bank jobs, fake IDs, mortgage fraud, and the theft of rare jewelry. But police